Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about using Pinterest for Etsy and how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to make a pin for your Etsy products using Canva, how to make multiple pins for the same listings, and how to pin it on Pinterest. So if you want to learn how to do all the above, make sure that you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video. I'm going to show you step by step. And if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do today. I do upload weekly videos to help you build an impactful online business. So don't forget to subscribe. I'm also going to be leaving below my mastering Pinterest course. So if you want to learn how to promote your Etsy products on Pinterest the correct way, how to learn about SEO, how to get found on the search engine, and how to drive a million impressions every month like I do on my own Pinterest account, make sure that you join today. So let's go ahead and dive in into this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a listing from my shop. So I'm going to do a flower one because I did some research already on keywords. So I'm going to do this actual listing right here. One of the things I always recommend when you are uploading a product to your Etsy store is to always have multiple different pictures because that helps a buyer make an informed decision whether they want to buy from you or not. So as you can see, I do have different photos um, in different scenarios. Like I have just the, the blank logo. I have it on a bag. I have it on a model walking with bags. Um, so as you can see, I show all four variations of what they get. So I even show it on a business card. If they wanted to use it as a business card, they could do that as well. But adding this to your store, adding multiple photos actually helps you in different ways. It helps because you want to promote your product and show it in different various ways in your store. But then you also have additional pictures for your Pinterest account. A lot of people are like, well, how do I start a Pinterest account? I only have 10 products. Well, you could use those 10 products and create multiple pro um, multiple pins for those products. If you did three for every 10 that you have, you'll have 33 pins versus just having 10 pins. And that's how you could double your pins on Pinterest and drive even more traffic. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. So all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to grab this photo here. So that's one right there. And I'm going to grab the one with the model so i'm gonna grab this one here that's two and let's do one more let's do this one three so these are the three that i'm gonna work with now potentially i could use all of them i could just pick every single photo from here and i will make nine different pins um for this tutorial i'm gonna do two pins but i'm just gonna show you um how to do them so that way you have an idea next time you're doing your pins how you could make multiple pins using your own photos. So once you have the pins, because these are um, not the right size, they're not optimized for Pinterest, they will get buried in the search results. And the bigger pins, like the longer vertical pins, will look nicer and my pins are going to get truncated in the search results. So that's why you want to make sure that whenever you're pinning on Pinterest, you're optimizing your pins. I optimize my pins. Um, I do a 1200 height by 800 width. That's the size that I use. And then I also use that size for my Instagram story. So I kind of use the pin for two different um, platforms, basically. And it saves me a little bit of time. Now, I'm using Canva today to show you how to, re how to make a pin for your products. So I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch so you guys can see the, my process. So all I do is I create a design. I create a, I click on custom design. Um, as you can see, it's saved already because I use it so much. But you would do 800 width, 1200 height. You create design. And this is the, the pin that we're going to use for Pinterest. So the first thing I do is I just upload the photo. It's going to be um, uploaded right here, as you can see. And it's going to come up here. I'm going to put it in the middle on the top portion of my pin try to put this in the middle of the logo and then I'm going to use my branding colors um, and these are I have branding colors already so I'm going to go to elements 
I'm going to take a little the square here and I'm going to put it in the bottom. There you go. And then I'm going to change this to my branding colors. These are my branding colors here. So I'm going to do pink for this one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my store and I'm going to copy my URL. But I'm going to copy from here to Etsy. And this is just for branding purposes. I recommend whenever you're promoting your pins on Pinterest that you brand your pins. Um, you don't want to make it huge. You just want to make it small, but you do want to add it to your pins. It just makes it look nicer. And for branding purposes, if someone sees multiple pins, they'll know that it's from your same store. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I think 25 is good. And then I'm going to drag it and put it right here. So as you can see, I just put xc.com shop and then my XC store name. You don't necessarily need to put the www. It will be a little bit too long. I think like this, it just works perfect. So once I do that, I'm just going to add text right here. So I'm going to say, because this is a pre-made um, floral logo, I'm going to say pre-made floral, pre-made floral logo. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger to kind of fill up the white space. So I'm just like putting this in the middle now. Let's see if my mouse. Okay, so I made it a little bit too big. So I'm just going to put it right here. As you guys can see. Maybe push it a little bit down to give it a little space. And then I'm going to make the font a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make this 90. And, and let's see now. Yeah, that's better. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a smaller one, smaller text down here with a different font. And I'm going to put click to get yours today. One thing I have noticed is that on the pins that I put a call to action, this is a call to action. You're telling the reader what to do next. So what I've noticed is that the pins that I say click to get yours today or click to get the freebie, I've gotten more more clicks on those pins than the ones that I've never put anything to it. So now lately, I've been kind of like testing it out to see if it works better for me. It has been working better for me. Um, call to actions are really, really important when you're trying to sell. Um, so just adding it, I don't think it hurts you. If anything, it might increase the likelihood of somebody clicking. So I just put like very small click to get yours today. So there you go. I have one pre-made, right, pin already. So I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to change the photo. I'm going to remove the photo. I'm going to delete this one since I already did that one. And I'm going to put this one here just to give you an idea. So let's just do two for the sake of this video because I don't want to make it too long for you guys. So here's another one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to show off the, the actual logo. And I'm going to say instead of floral, I'm going to say flower logo just to kind of change it up a little bit. It's always a good idea to, if you can, to change your text a little bit so it doesn't look like you're promoting the same thing over and over and over. Um, that's just something that I have learned. I used to just use the same title on all of them. Lately, I just change them around a little bit, even if it's like an extra word or not, or if I just change the flower from floral. So I kind of did that one already. So that's made. I could change the color down here to my other color. So let's say I wanted to do another one. I'll just go ahead and duplicate, remove that photo. Oops. Let's go back to Canva. Sorry about that. Let's add the other photo, which is this one here. And let's put it up here. And I'm going to stretch it out. And pre-made um, floral logos. Maybe I'll just do that. This one, I kind of kept it the same. I just added an S at the end. So here are three pins that you created. You could change this. These are my three colors. So I will make it all like different colors at the bottom. 
but you have three different pins essentially it's the same logo but this is a different background this one has a girl sitting down this one has a girl standing up so they do essentially look different and this is how you could take one particular listing that you have and create 10 pins and if you only have let's say 20 products in your store but out of 20 you create 10 pins for your pin you have 200 pins that you know you could pin 20 per day and you have like enough for at least a good two to three weeks so this is how you create pins and create multiple pins for that same particular product or listing so i'm going to download this i'm going to download all three and then i'm going to show you how i pin them on pinterest so here's the file let me close this down okay so here's the file that I just did so now what I do is I'll go to Pinterest I'll go to the particular board right that you want to pin it so I have mines on my main board where I where I have all my products and services so I'll go to Etsy shop and I'll go ahead and add the pin here so what I normally do is I already did research on two I, I needed to do another one for the third pin but I did research on two already so basically, my first one is, are you looking for a flower logo for your small business? Take a look at this beautiful pre-made flower logo design. I've also have many other flower design logos you might like that are pre-made and ready with the turnaround of 24 hours or less. Click to get your business logo today, hashtag logo, hashtag flower logo. So I'm going to do my branding one, which is hashtag my name. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it right here. Now, the keyword that I'm trying to rank for is flower logo. So I'm going to name the title flower logo. And then the other thing you have to do is name your pin, which is usually called a file name. You want to name it too. So I'm going to use this one here as the example. These were the three that I downloaded. I'm going to name this one flower logo. And then I'm going to drag it. And there you go. I have the pin there. Now I'm going to go back to my Etsy store. And I'm going to grab the, the URL for that. Oops. For that particular listing, which is this one. And I'm going to add the, the URL. And I'm going to publish it to my store. So here it is. Publish. Now keep in mind that when you do Etsy, you don't really need to activate your rich pins because it does it automatically. As you can see, I just added this pin and it added the price for it already here, $17. And it adds the extra information um, that I have on my Etsy store. And this is considered a rich pin, but it does it automatically for Etsy. So you don't necessarily have to do it. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you have a blog or if you have um, like Shopify, you will need to claim your website, but for Etsy, because we're not, a, we can't claim it. Um, it does it automatically. So just keep that in mind. And then I'm going to do the same one for the second one. So let's go back to my board and to the section for Etsy shop. Um, this is the one that I just added and I'm going to do the second one. So the second one is, do you need a floral logo for your business? Then take a look at this beautiful pre-made flower logo design that will help you stand out click to get your pre-made flower logo today logo hashtag flower logo hashtag logo design and then i'm going to do my branding again which is my name i'm going to copy this and for this one i'm trying to rank for um floral logo um i probably should have used this one for the floral logo um let me see if this one is floral logo too this is flower and this one is okay so let's use that one so this one i'm going to type it in as floral logo alrighty and i'm going to pin it to the pin and then i'm going to put the keyword up here i'm going to put my description that i already had made and i'm going to grab the url one more time and i'm going to put it on here it's pinned to the right fold. No, it took it out for some reason. So I'm going to pin it to the right folder, XC Shop, and voila. 
I just made two pins. I have an extra one that I could use, but I made two pins for my Pinterest account with two different photos for one particular listing. And this is how you can make multiple pins um, using different photos that doesn't look like it's the same photo over and over again and pin it to your Pinterest account and start driving traffic from Pinterest to your Etsy store. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. Keep in mind that the most important things are making sure that your image is a vertical image um, by 1200 by 800 that we talked about, making sure that you brand it with your branding colors, making sure that you include your store URL, and making sure that your photos look nice. And on top of that, that you have um, done your research for SEO and that you have also named the file for that particular keyword as well. That way, when people are searching you on the search engine, your pins do pop up and you drive more traffic to your Etsy store. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for